bedtime. Space is proud to sponsor the Midnight Madness program at the 2011 Toronto International Film Festival. At the witching hour, get your fill of shocking and rocking movies. The Midnight Madness program at the Toronto International Film Festival, September 8th to 18th. Brought to you by Space. Hi, it's Robert Mitchell at the 2011 Toronto International Film Festival. We're at night six of Midnight Madness, and tonight's film is called Sleepless Night. Welcome to Midnight Madness in your world premiere. Hey, um, how are you guys feeling tonight? The world premiere of your film. <laughs> how we're feeling? Yeah. Really, really good. Very, very good. Very, very excited. Can you tell me the uh, story of Sleepless Nights or Nuit Blanche? It's uh, the story of... Um... No, I can't. No, I'm not going to tell you the story. Go and watch the movie. No, no, no. Um, how did you... Uh, you, uh, you have a great cinematographer, Tom Stern, in the film. I uh, shot it on many films like Mystic River and whatnot. How did you get Tom to shoot this film? He, he, he liked very much the script when we sent it to him, and uh, we had a very good meeting. And uh, well, then he, he 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 makes the film with me, and that's all. Did uh, what did he uh, add to the visuals? Did he create uh, more of a visual style than you initially had? It was a, 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 a complete collaboration, really. He has a, a huge experience and uh, and had a, a vision very precise, and uh, it was a uh, it worked together. So uh, yeah, really. So. So uh, Frederick like as a director. Oh man, he sucks. He's <laughs> such a bad director. I, I hate this guy. Hey, everything you say is. If you want me to be a little bit more uh, uh, serious, he's uh, he 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 makes his choices when he casts you, and once you're cast, he trusts you, and then he you know he he um, he gives you um, at least me way more um, you know um, how do you call that um, freedom. Yeah, uh, way more range to do what I thought I had to do, and he, you know, trusted. Did you do any research for this uh, role, or are you just um, do it from a more natural uh, point, or do you do a lot of research in method act? No, I, yeah, I am what people call method a method actor. I hate that term, but. It, that's the way I work, but there wasn't that much research to do on that part because he's a mainly human being. You don't have to do. A, he's really. I mean, it's it's not a, it's not bullshit. What I'm telling you, it's uh, you know he he is a cop, but the story doesn't happen in a, in a cop world. It, it's uh, you know he's he's just a normal human being who happens to go through something really really hard but I bet that most of the people would react the same way that he reacts uh, in this situation at least I would so no research to do about that it's from a real place yeah it comes from a real place of course it's very good is it about the uh, script that um, when you read it for the first time that uh, drew you to the film and the story qu'est-ce qu'il me dit qu'est-ce qu'il t'a 
intéressé dans le scénario la première fois que tu as vu. Uh, I wrote it, so it's so it's very it's very personal. I mean, it was about paternity it's between a son and a and a father. That's uh, this link, uh, uh, which is a uh, um, la chose essentielle du film, the, the the main part of the film. It's an action film, but it's about a father and a son above all. I was interested by that. Yeah, there's the action, but that dynamic of that relationship is really what's the undercurrent of the story. Yeah. Exactly. Well, thank you very much for your time. Enjoy the premiere. Hey, you enjoy the premiere. I am going to. I can't wait. It's going to be a good movie. <laughs>